All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are here playing PGA, and guess what we're doing? Guess what Andrew's doing? We're drinking. Getting hammered. Which is, cr you know, what's actually funny. The the last video I recorded, right? I did a review with Pavel, which I haven't uploaded yet, but I started uh, editing it today. Um, we actually talked about how I used to drink, right? I haven't. I couldn't even tell you last time I saw you drink like somewhat heavily. Uh, probably the Ozarks. Are you serious? Ozarks? Probably. I mean... That's that's crazy. Well, actually, at what age is it okay to talk about the underage drinking, right? I think you're fine now because it's, like, in the past. As long as you don't condone underage drinking. It's, like, so, Okay, oh, so... Off, we, like to, we like to condone that the Loner Nation and Andrew himself does not condone underage drinking. I do drinking. not condone underage drinking. I'm He's highly against okay. underage drinking. I'm, honestly, I don't, I don't really think drinking as a whole is all that cool or glamorous or anything, right? I think However, any person could go through life without drinking, all right? However, However <laughs> I'm drinking tonight, all right? Uh, yeah, the last time I, well, I mean, like, I got drunk, like, uh, December when my buddy came home. That was, like, you know, like a one-time thing, basically. Uh, the last time I really got drunk with you, or, like, the group, I just hit start streaming. Uh, the last time I, like, drank with you guys, well, I had a shot on New Year's, right? Did I tell you about that? I'm not, I'm not counting like a little... Well, yeah, but did I tell you about that? Counting like you actually drank. Okay. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's going to Last time I drank with you guys, probably two, three years, or two years ago, uh, I remember, uh, again, underage, you know. Don't condone underage drinking. It's not cool. All right, kids, don't drink. Um, Nick and I were doing shell shots. I remember, like, everyone was there. Like, the girls were there, too. But, uh, yeah, Nick and I were doing shell shots. And he scored a lot of goals on me. It was like, yeah, it was like nine or ten in the first game, and then the second game, I think I probably stopped at like five or six because I was very drunk. And then Nick had to start doing the shots for me. And then it felt like it was like four a.m., uh, but it was like eight p.m. <laughs> so I called my mom to pick me up because I, I was. That was that time. Yeah, yeah, I was literally falling asleep. And since then, I really have. I've been drunk maybe like actually drunk like maybe two or three times. So what we're doing here, chat, with this whole drinking in PGA, right? Uh, what we're doing is if Thomas gets a birdie, I take a one second sip or chug, whatever, right? If he gets an eagle, same two seconds, right? If he gets an albatross, three seconds. If he gets a hole in one, I'll take a shot, right? I'll go find something in my house and drink a shot, take a shot, right? And then if I get a bogey, that's one second sip, double bogey, two second sip. If I get a triple bogey, three second sip, what did Thomas text me? One sec. And then if I hold, or if I stroke out, I might just finish my drink. We're cracking open the first one. Good old twisted tea. Oh, I'm already like halfway through one. Were you drinking before you even got on? No. I just cracked it open like 20 seconds ago. Oh, just like a little celebratory chug. Yeah, a cheers to the chat. Hey, chat, cheers. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, I'm going to finish my drink really, before we start. We really should not be doing that. Well, what we're doing is stroke play, like, back to back. So back uh, to that's one down, chat. Watch me first. Uh, a great drive off the, uh, off the rip here. I'm already hammered right now. Maybe going to end up. Oh, look at that. Stay in the fairway, maybe? You know what I mean? You can. Holy you know fuck. How is you don't drink forever and you lose a bunch of weight, so you're lightweight. Well, I mean, like, imagine, like, being that person. Like, that would be pretty fucking awesome. I mean, you save so much money, you don't yeah. drink as many calories. Well, like, you drink, like, you drink, like, two seltzers and you're basically hammered. You know what I mean? I know. That'd be, like... That'd be fucking <laughs> electric. That's why you just drink uh, hard liquor, guys. I'm in a very hard shitty spot is... here. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. That's... Oh, that's bold. Fuck. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! It, it went it went cool. over, but Power. still. Right. Chad, if you want to see more drinking videos, you're probably not gonna get any, alright? <laughs> Unless this gets like 30 likes or something, I'll maybe drink again. Just wait around the course. Alright, you wanna count me down for a drink? <laughs> go. Zero one. Zero. Did you watch the Bachelor finale? I did watch the Bachelor finale, dude. I mean, yeah. good on her. Good on her. Yeah. I, I, I She's the she, guy. She recognized you know? she wasn't going to win. She's like, I know you're not going to pick me. Like, it's yeah. not, it's, like, it's, cut, it's cut the bullshit here. It's pretty much. Obviously, I wanted her to win, but I didn't. I knew she wasn't going to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm happy for where she's at, though. Yeah. 
But this putt is uh, birdie for me, so. It just hit me how depressing my life is. I'm drinking alone on a Wednesday night. Don't be too depressed because, like, all of our <laughs> ah, I know. No, I don't get depressed because I just know my life is shit. It's awesome. During COVID, I went to the basement. You got a bunch hey, of I was probably days. there for that, too. I don't know if you were on for that. Oh. Well, I used to do that a lot during COVID. You know what I would do? Yeah, so what I used to do back then, so we have these really big cups, right? Like, uh, like the cups you'd get at, like, a sporting event, right? Um... So I would get one of those big cups, right? And my parents didn't really know I was drinking at like that. I was like, basically I was like borderline alcoholism at this point, you knew that. And I would get one of those big cups. I'd fill it, I'd fill it up a, with a lot of vodka. I would get, we, we used to do like two liters of Coke that we just have sitting around. So I'd fill up that big cup with vodka and Coke. I would slam like three or four shots just in my kitchen late at night, as quiet and quickly as possible. So my parents wouldn't know about it. I hate Pink Whitney. Me too. I haven't had Pink Whitney since, uh... Guys, once again, we don't condone underage drinking. <laughs> yeah, we do not <laughs> condone underage drinking. Since I was a senior in high school. <laughs> no, the, the chat doesn't understand. Nick and I would kill a bottle in one night. Just from shell shots. Yeah, playing shell shots. <laughs> underage drinking, which again, we do not condone chat. Alright? Do not underage yeah. drink. Yeah. But hey, it was a it was a learning le I mean, it was a learning lesson. You know, I don't drink anymore. Mm. Really? Hey, everyone, all, I mean, I know me personally, I have enough experiences of like bad times right now. Yeah, like same. Oh, fuck, it was that night. You remember that night when we were at Nick's and I took my shirt off and I couldn't find my shirt and more. Yeah, Pavel, Nick, yeah, Pavel, like, okay, so Nick and I went to bed at like three or four in the morning from playing shell shots. Got really, I got really drunk, right? Pavel wakes me up at fucking seven in the morning to drive us home. Oh. I couldn't find my shirt anywhere. But like, Pavel and I looked for like five minutes, couldn't find it. Pavel was over it, so he's like, all right, we're getting the fuck out of here. So I went home without a shirt on. Thankfully, my parents were asleep when I got home. Uh, so I go home without a shirt on, go bed right away, right? Now it's a Sunday, I have work. I'm literally tying my shoes to go to work and it hits me. Run to the bathroom and throw up. That was the only time I've ever thrown up from drinking. Like the last time I drank yeah. vodka, it's always vodka for me. It's all, it always comes back to vodka. Went camping with some friends, uh, probably two, three years ago. We had, we had vodka and Hawaiian punch. We had, we filled up our Nalgene water bottles full of vodka and Hawaiian punch. And we're in a tent in the middle of summer, mind you. So it's hot as balls. I wake up very early morning and I was just like, I was, just covered in sweat. Like, I literally thought I was gonna die. I was praying for God to take me out, you know? Yeah, and I literally, like, took off. Like, I still had my underwear on, but I took off, like, my clothes and just laid, like, on the tent, like, tarp floor just to, like, get some coolness. And, like, after, like, 15 minutes, I felt better. But it was, it was, it was just not fun. So, going into freshman year, guys, once again, don't underage drink, please. It's not, yeah. not good. But, uh, going, it was, like, a few weeks before I was going to college. <sighs> I'm two uh, drinks down. Because now, it was by the COVID. Way. Because it was. What's, what's up? I'm two drinks down now, by the way. Oh, they, they crush it, man. Let's go. Yeah. Our school got delayed for our move in by like two weeks because of COVID stuff. So we went up to my buddy's cabin. We had uh, our friend's brother get us some pink Whitney before we left. Mm -hmm. And we were sitting by the campfire the last night before we went home. I just decided to have, I think, two full solo cups of just pink Whitney. No, like, no, nothing like to dilute it. Just, I think I was blackout in maybe 15 minutes. I wake up and I just feel disgusting. I don't remember anything. It turns out the entire night I spent going to my bed, waking up, running to the bathroom, throwing up, running back to my bed, and then going to bed like every like 15 minutes or so I'd be doing this. Oh. So I wake up in the morning, I'm feeling just disgusting. Drinking orange uh, vitamin water, you know, trying to like hydrate myself. We clean it up, you know, it's our last day there, so we're just trying to get ready to go. Starting to feel like okay a little bit because I'm like hydrated, got some food in my system. So we get there, we're it's about a five hour drive where we were going. And we're sitting in the car, I'm in the passenger seat, and I'm like, okay, this is uh not feeling all that good. So then I just I'm blowing chunks into the Ziploc baggie. All you see is orange vitamin water. Well done. The guy kinda looks like Scotty Shepherd. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Sit. Oh. No. Fuck. I already feel like okay. shit. I'm already like a little buzzed. I'm not gonna lie. I think you had three of those, and you probably haven't had water in a little bit. It was so wet today. I almost ate shit walking down the stairs. Like there's a. I was going like down to like the basement of a floor right from the outside, and I was like, oh, the floors look like really wet. I'd be careful. The first step I hit, my entire foot slides all the way off the step, and I catch myself on the railing. Otherwise, I probably would have tumbled down a good 24 steps. I need to play better than this, man. I know I'm better than this. You're minus four. Fuck off.
I'm never drinking again. Yeah, you are. This is so hot. It's getting very warm in my room, though. Did you open a window? I did. It's you just I'm hot. Door? Well, Thomas won. Yeah. Very much. By my, you won by one. Yeah, but I was leading all the game. I'm going to finish my third drink, though, first. Oh, man. That was only two sips left. All right, Chad, thank you guys for watching this drinking video. I hope you enjoyed the very little drinking we did. <laughs> so he only drinks in the first game, then, like, casually. And then one in, the like, two. the third game. Yeah. Uh, we had four drinks total. We had, like, five or six bathroom breaks total. And by we, he means just himself. He yeah. Um, you'll never see me drink again, probably on a video, because I don't drink anymore. Yeah, again, until next time. again, chat, the Lone Ninja and friends do not condone underage drinking. Don't do it. We'll see you next time. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, anything you want us to do. We'll see you next time. Be happy. Go Peace. Twins.